Hello and welcome to Podkins. It's a splendid day here at Webkins HQ. Plus, I'm joined by my co-host Mike here in the Podkins booth. Hey, everyone. How's it going? Pretty good. I was on vacation last week. How was that? It was pretty good. I had fun. Yeah? Yeah. So I've been away. So what's been going on with One Webkins World? The big news, like you said, is hashtag Mm -hmm. One Webkins World. It's going amazingly. Right. The community has just been blasting through milestones like nobody's business. Over the weekend, I think they broke level five and six. That's right. As of this recording, you guys have just passed five and six in the same day. Really close to level (laughs) seven. (laughs) Very close to level seven. So watch out for that milestone. But we want to encourage you to keep going. Keep uploading your pet photos. Keep sharing the Mm -hmm. ones that are shared from the official Webkins page. And yeah. Yeah, you guys will be there in no time. Also, just a gentle reminder that when you're in Kins Chat, please don't share any personal information. Mm-hmm. This includes your social media usernames. We love that everyone's getting into the spirit of one Webkins world, but we just ask that you keep all that information outside of Kins Chat. So our episode today is about Gans World and Webkins News. Yeah. So Janelle, what do you do when you go to Webkins News? I absolutely love checking out the previews mm-hmm. of the plush pets and the virtual pets that yeah. are coming out. Um, I definitely, even though I play a part in creating those, mm-hmm. I love to see when they're presented to everybody yeah. and everyone can weigh in with their thoughts. Yeah, I love going there and reading comments. I yeah. love to see what people are saying on our articles, yep. you know, what they think and what they love and what they don't like. It's a lot of fun. It is, and we love to participate as well. Mm-hmm. So we had a segment in our last show called Games. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that, Mike. That was really fun. It was fun, yeah. <laughs> We asked you for name suggestions for this segment because we thought games, just games, was a little bit boring. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> so we actually had quite a few suggestions. Yeah. Uh, we had some favorites, but I think what we landed on was a mashup of two different names. Right. So, Mike, do you want to say what we're going to call it? We're going to call it Podkins Arcade. We're paying homage to the arcade in Webkins world, exactly. but putting our own little spin on it. So with that, let's check out what's in our kids post. In our last episode, we asked you to tell us your thoughts on Gans World and Webkins News. Wolfie126 wrote, Dear Podkins, the main reason I come to Webkins News is to see all the new updates. I especially love hearing new Podkins episodes. Yes. Thanks, Wolfie. <laughs> QWERTY55 wrote, The main reasons I come is to keep up to date on what's going on in Webkins World and to earn prizes. And I've entered the Name a Baby Dragon contest, Lilac Guinea Pig, and Design a Dog contest. That's true. There are so many great contests always going on. Yeah. CK92 says, I like coming to Webkins News to see concept art and designs for older items from past events. It's awesome to see how items are designed and made for everyone in Webkin's world to enjoy. That's a great point. We've Mm -hmm. just done our Toadstool theme, and uh, we've showed you all the concept art that we've made along the way. So yeah, be sure to watch for that theme coming soon to the W Shop. We also got a great question from GracieGirl10, who asked, Hey Janelle and Mike, I'm excited about hashtag one Webkin's world, but I have a question. Do you have to have a full membership to get the rewards, or can you be a free member as well? That's a great question. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of questions about this. Yeah. So actually, everyone's going to get the rewards on the play days, no matter whether you're deluxe or a free member. Yeah. So that's it for our Kins post today. If you want to get in touch, send us an email at podkins at gans.com or leave us a comment in the comment section below this article. In this segment, we chat to GAN staffers about their jobs. Please say hello to Jacob and Cameron, GAN's world specialist extraordinaire. Jacob. Hey. And Cameron. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for being with us today. It's so great to be here. Thank you, guys. <laughs> so your official titles are both web production associates. What does that mean exactly? Well, that pretty much means we are monitoring the site on GAN's world. Mm-hmm. We also do things like updating the share center. Okay. And we also do cool things like adding new prizes for the GAN's world rewards. Mm-hmm. Right. We also help create promotions. Promotional videos for Gans World, and we write all the ads. Cool. So a big part of your job is to make sure that Webkins players know about upcoming events Mm -hmm. and basically all the happenings in Webkins World so no one misses anything. So how do you accomplish this? Like, what's your typical day like? Well, my day consists of, you know, doing a lot of cool, exciting things, Mm -hmm. such as moderating. I get to hear a lot of wonderful things from the community. And it's so fun to actually reply sometimes to those responses. Yeah. And I also get to uh, dabble in a little bit of Photoshop. Oh. which is a cool photo software that allows you to do a lot of manipulations with graphics. That's right. Nice. And you're involved in the contest as well, right? Like you moderate contests? Yes, I do. So like on the Share Center. And also I send out that really cool email to users that win the prize. Wow, you're lucky. So you get to make the day of our Webkins players. Exactly. It's almost like the person at the lottery shop. <laughs> right. I don't know what you call it, where they hand that big check. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's awesome. My day is a little more uh, all over the place. My favorite thing to do is I get to sit around in boardrooms and have big brainstorming meetings where we write all over the walls with markers to try and figure out exactly how to get the best prizes to every player <laughs> and make sure it's the most fun on Webkin's News and all of Games World. I've been in those boardrooms after their meetings and they're, <laughs> the walls are just covered. Because they're talking about big ideas. So yeah. they need big spaces to exactly. draw all over the place. Now, speaking of big ideas, there's a huge event going on. We've already mentioned in this episode mm-hmm. called Hashtag One Webkins World. So I know you guys are super involved. Can you talk about what led to putting on this event? Uh, what we really wanted to do with One Webkins World is get everyone in the Webkins community together, working cooperatively to earn prizes for themselves and also just share their Webkins with the world. And it's really the cool thing about this is just how quickly the community has come together and to help one another. And after reading all the comments and seeing all the wonderful photos that you guys have taken, Mm -hmm. it just makes my day so much more enjoyable. Yeah, the pictures are great. I especially love when people were taking photos of their pets in real world environments. Yeah. It was a lot of fun to look at. So overall, this event has been super inspiring for us to see, like to see everybody participating, coming together to make this happen. Plus, we get to see a lot of adorable pets in the process, which Mm -hmm. is what we're about. So going back to Webkin's news, let's talk about what your favorite features are about it. My favorite thing to do on Webkin's news is the guess the pet quizzes. They're a great way to earn Kins cash and I get to uh, test my Webkin's knowledge at the same time. Nice. How do you normally do on those? Well, I made them, so usually around <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> I love the contest on Webkin's News. It's really cool to see all the different entries that come in. Mm -hmm. And I always try and have like a little ticker as if the new contest will outbeat the previous contest. (laughs) And it seems like each time it just gets better and better. More entries come in. It's like, wow. For the Design a Dog contest, you must have gone through about 7,000 entries. That was a lot. I remember that. It was mind-blowing. Yeah, that's for sure. Just the entries, the the creativity, the different designs that from just one template, the amount of different entries that came in was just really, really, it was wonderful. The talent pool on Webkin's News is just unbelievable. Yeah, our fans are amazing. So to end off, what's your favorite place to play in Webkin's World? My favorite is definitely Dogbeard's Bathtub Battles. I think it's my most favorite and the most fun game on the site. Nice. Jacob? Well, I love the wacky Zingos because it's just so fun to actually see how far you could hit yeah. hit it. And then I also used to play softball growing up. Oh, so yeah. it's kind of like the closest thing that I'm actually good at when it comes to hitting a ball with a bat. Nice. You'll enjoy playing that during the Wacky Zingo celebration mm-hmm. in a few weeks. Yes. If you hit Wacky further than 600 feet, you win a new trophy. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> So thanks a lot for being with us, guys. It's been a lot of fun. We learned a lot about Webkin's news. And Gans World. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks, guys, for having us. Hashtag One Webkin's World has already been such a success. Mm -hmm. We can't wait for play days. Definitely make sure to log in every day from August 8th to August 10th to receive the awesome rewards that you have all unlocked. Now, our next episode is going to be about something that we all have in common. Ooh, what is it, Janelle? Birthdays, of, of course. course. <laughs> so it's actually your birthday coming up soon, right? It is. Nice. Yeah, it's coming up in about a week. Nice. So as a matter of fact, we thought it would be great if our next episode was all about birthdays and how you celebrate birthdays in Webkin's world. So what's the most essential thing that you need for a birthday party? Other than cake, <laughs> that is. You can say cake if you want. Gifts are most essential. So, well, do you care about gifts, either giving or receiving? Them? Tell us about the best birthday you've ever had. Plus, have you ever celebrated a birthday in Webkin's world? What was it like? Let us know by emailing us at podkins at or leave us a comment in the section below. Have a great week, everyone. See ya. See ya.